Hey, what's up guys? Today is Tuesday, August 16th. Unfortunately, I have still not started my co-op job. I was supposed to start yesterday on Monday, um, but basically there was some confusion with some people and there's like a third party company that does drug tests and they thought I was a returning employee, so I didn't need a drug test, but I'm a new employee, so I do. And so I'm not allowed to start until I have that stuff um, all finished and figured out. And apparently they're supposed to contact me to uh, do that stuff, and there's no way I can contact them. They have to reach out to me, apparently. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting. Hopefully they can contact me sometime soon. I talked to my manager yesterday and he basically just said wait and they should contact you and I'll he's supposed to try to talk to them to hurry it up but I don't know what's going on um, basically there's nothing I can do except wait so just been working on the car a little bit more working on some other stuff around the house uh, as well so yesterday here I'll show you what I got done so there's some little rubber pieces in here in the wheel wells um, you can see this rubber, uh, I guess it's plastic, let's see here, so this plastic piece goes up, just kind of creates a seal here along the inside of the fender so you know mud or dirt doesn't get back there by the doors and then there's a similar thing up front here uh, with this piece right here, this plastic piece, um, just to keep stuff out from uh, the front of the car, so I had to put those in. It was a little bit annoying, and uh, some of the some of the screws I didn't have, and had to go get some washers to fit on the screws properly, and stuff like that. So uh, a little bit of a pain there. Still painting some bolts actually right now. There's one bolt on each side that goes in, so I got those on each side. And yesterday I also got the master cylinder in. Um, just had to basically put those bolts on or nuts on there, lock tight them down, and hopefully we can start getting the valves on. There's one of the pro pro proportioning valves here, and then there's another one uh, right here. So these kind of mount on the side of the master cylinder here somehow. Not really sure how that goes at the moment. And then we got to get the brake lines, you know, down to the two front uh, wheels and uh, brakes and then got to run a line to the back um, for the rear brake. So that's kind of what's up next. Uh, my dad got home from a car show um, on Sunday night, I think. So I think he's going to try to keep working on some of the wiring. He got started on the wiring probably like a year ago and hasn't really just got to working out of their stuff and other parts of the car and hasn't really messed with the wiring. So he's going to try to work on some of this wiring here. It's got to go along here and some of this stuff goes inside to like the dash and stuff like that. So uh, it's not really too difficult, but you just got to figure out where everything goes and how it goes together, you know? So that's, I guess, the challenge. Um, have to put in the hose for the uh, washer fluid. We got the little squirters up here that I put in a while ago, probably like a year ago these squirters here and the hose, um, but we gotta connect that main hose back to the uh, tank here and the pump uh, is right down here at the bottom. Just gotta connect that up. Um, just lots of little stuff to do, really. This is the power steering pump. I was starting to take it apart a little bit, but I um, was trying to take this pulley off so we could clean it all up and bent the pulley, so um, still can't get the uh, pulley off. I'm not really sure what we're gonna have to do. Maybe we just have to get a new power steering um, Pump really don't know. I mean honestly, we don't even know if this thing works. So uh, Yeah, we'll have to figure that out, but these right here are the brackets for that that I sandblasted and painted and everything And then this is some hardware for the battery that kind of holds it down. Just kind of clean some of that stuff up um, Just a lot of you know cleaning stuff up and uh, getting it ready to put on the car. Um, and we also have these trim rings here that um, go kind of in the wheel here, like this. And uh, they have, you know, some kind of scratches in them and um, 
they're not really perfect, but I worked a while ago. Uh, sorry, it's not focusing at all. I worked a while ago on cleaning these up. They look pretty decent now, actually. Um, actually, this one looks pretty good, to be honest. I mean, there's some scratches there, but nothing too bad. Um, so, clean some of those up. Probably going to work a little bit more to try to clean them up a bit more, and then those will be ready to go on, so that'll be exciting. So yeah, definitely a lot of work left to do, but uh, certainly a lot of work behind us as well. Um, you know, it's going to be a slow process for sure. Able to work on it a bit while I'm not working, but once I start working, probably won't be able to work on it as much. And, uh, you know, we'll see where it goes, but hopefully we can get it done within the next year. Uh, we'll see, but probably going to go on a bike ride in a few hours. Um, so that should be pretty fun. Probably gonna try to go around 20 miles. I have, you know, a kind of mountain bike. It's nothing really that, that that's that good for, you know, riding on the road or long distances or anything, but uh, it certainly makes it a challenge and uh, is a good way to get some exercise in. So I uh, hope you guys are doing well and uh, let me know if you do have any questions and I will see you all next time.